Hello and welcome to Sharon Message Assets. In this short video, I would like to introduce you to Steve Connolly, who is an expert on Deborah Sampson. So, welcome to Sharon Historical Society. We are located in Sharon Message Assets and we are very proud of our heroine. Deborah Sampson. So Steve Connell is an expert on Deborah. He collected lots of information over the years and yesterday he visited Sharon Historical Society and he donated three portraits. Hi Steve, thank you for bringing the pictures. What do we have here? We've got three paintings of Deborah, uh, Deborah Sampson Gannett. I think in all cases she was married so she had a, uh, a, a married name. And on the right is Paul Revere during their meeting at Cobb's Tavern. And that is painted in Cobb's Tavern. And that's the time and frame it happened, 1804. And they were working on back pay and pensions compensation that she wasn't getting as a female, but he was helping to get it. So you had this painting done, right? It's not a real photograph of Deborah Samson. No, we actually uh, went into the uh, tavern and we had the oil painting created uh, yes, it was based off of a photograph. Excellent. But a photograph so, of reenactors. I couldn't get everything. Yeah, with reenactors yeah. and then of course super. Reenactor specialist Nancy Connolly. And the next painting. And yeah, Michael that's LePage. Michael. <laughs> yes, those are the two. And here. So that is an image from 1785. Um, and it is of Deborah with Benjamin Gannett Jr. The actual head is J Benjamin Gannett um, the grandson of Deborah, that would be Earl Gannett's son. Earl was Deborah's son. So Junior is grandson of junior, Deborah, it, or Junior actually, was who Benjamin she married? Benjamin Gannett Junior is Deborah's husband. Husband, all right. And they had Senior, son, son Earl had a, and other kids. Correct. They had an Earl, and then they had Benjamin Gannett Junior. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, another Benjamin Gannett. Yeah, but, he, but he didn't have the Junior on his it'd name. Be like a third, if he was correct. Logical. Yeah, yeah, if he junior. wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> So that's just sort of creates okay. it. That's the actual image of the wedding dress. Uh, that we've, and we've what's got special about the wedding dress? Well, the wedding dress, of course, would be worn during the wedding day. And it was f uh, in the family for many, many years, up until the 1970s, when the Bostick family donated it to the New England Historic Society up oh. in Haverhill, Massachusetts. So that's where the dress resides today. So can public see it? Yes, you can go up and see it. We drove up to see it. And for twenty-five dollars, they bring it out and display it for you. you that's a great deal. Twenty bucks only. So that's how we got this image because that was standing on a pedestal, and we, we got a photo of it. Also, what kind of flowers are those? You know, they're pine cones, and pine I cones. don't know the flowers. There's so a variety of different shapes, and they're probably a little more blurred. It's really pretty and blue. So that was a fabric like they made like like it from, right? Iris there. It's um, probably printed fabric at the time. Yeah. Um, and then the last painting is of Deborah during the time that she was creating her speech and her her memoirs or her mm -hmm. um, biography. So her speech that she used for her talks? Correct. And that's based on the actual image of Deborah meeting with someone in, using the actual image of Herman Mann that we got from the Deborah uh, Dedham Historical Society. And we superimposed, obviously, onto actors. Uh, we just tried to create the oh, moment that great. the two, two of them were working yeah. hard. Really gives you that. So he was a Walpole school teacher at the same time that Deborah was a Sharon school teacher. Mm. And maybe that's how they met as teachers. He became almost a, like a newspaper mogul, mm -hmm. like a hermit. And we have Remember copies her? somewhere of her speech that she yes. had traveled around. She had a lot of travel. One of the first speakers, I believe. In uh, female speakers in, in the this United area? States. In the United States, wow. And her plan was to travel the entire uh, east coast of the New Americas, mm -hmm. all 13 states, but she only ended up doing three states. It was tiring and hard work. And she was so far away from the young family and yeah. all that. Did she make any money? She made so, money, sometimes $100 per, per mm -hmm. presentation, sometimes $25 per presentation. But as you're and saying, she was away from really the family. Not really a lot. She ran into problems with the costs of all the travel mm. and the upkeep of her own well-being. Yeah. 
and she spent a lot of her money just to keep going to the next site. So mm -hmm. it became rather more of a work of passion than a work of profit, mm -hmm. which was her original intent, was to get some money back to the family All right. at 300 East Street, where the Argonbots live today. <laughs> You guys go to reenactor on site here all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so, lift all these words yeah. out of these images. Can you what tell I, us any interesting details that we don't know? Uh, she was righty. Yeah, she's a lefty too. Uh huh. She, so let's just say she was that's holding. That's right one right here. <laughs> we have to say that she was just holding the pen yeah, yeah. in her right hand, but she was. What a about her eye? She has a lazy left eye. Oh, I didn't know that. And some of the pictures are, were put on backwards to, because of the orientation. Mm -hmm. So it might look like a right eye here and a left mm -hmm. eye there. So she didn't yeah. use corrective lens in that At time? At the time frame, they probably didn't have what she needed. No. Because the Czech guy didn't invent them yet. Yeah. <laughs> it almost looks like she has a beard in this uh... Yeah, oh. some of the, even the one on the right. Can you just look yeah. at the one on the right, stubble. <laughs> Did you see the left, left eye? Yes, uh, yes, the one on the right is the older picture. Of my... That's the original one from Joseph. Yeah, it does Stone. look a little odd. And something with a finger too. So she was distinctive she, if you really knew her. She had a, uh, what do they call it? Down. It wasn't a, please? Down. A felon. A and it made it difficult for her to write, so yeah. she wrote with an odd, either one finger out or something. And, and that's how she was discovered. The, the first time, yeah. yeah. In yeah. So the first time when she was trying to sign up, yeah. somebody recognized the way she oh, was holding the pen? <laughs> yes, and you call it a crooked finger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you mind telling us about this amazing chair and the table? That's actually from her house. Well, the chair has been in the family for many, many years. There's four of them. I think we have three here in the society. And the table is, in, oh, we don't have to do it right now, but it's a fold-up table, yes. which was rather common at the time. Yes. This table will convert into a chair. Yes, I will show it later. Thank you so much, Steve. This is awesome. So, guys, if you ever want to learn anything about Deborah Samson, contact this amazing guy. I try. If you want to learn how to grow giant pumpkins, I'll that's your guy as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. You're welcome. So the other two ladies that were present were Jean Zanewski and Claire Foreman, both past president of Sharon Historical Society. If you would like to learn more about Deborah Samson and have Steve come over and do a talk for your organization or group, don't hesitate to send him email. And he does really grow giant pumpkins. One more thing I would like to mention about Steve is that in the last few years, actually more than few, he worked hard on making an official stamp of Deborah Samson. It's a work in progress, but hopefully we will see a stamp of Deborah Samson on our mail very soon. Sharon Historical Society was very happy to endorse this idea. You are all welcome to visit our museum at 16 High Street in Sharon and you can subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.